You know, as our Lord and Savior once said, it feels so scary getting old. I feel like as a kid, you're sold this huge set of expectations for the teenage dream. Parties, one of these options for fashion, romance, lots of drama. Plus the idolization of extremely young and accomplished people. Lord was a Grammy winner by 17. Cool, 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 cool. And like literally none of that comes true for most people. I spent most of my teen years moving, moving again, being traumatized for moving and studying for whatever stupid AP test I had to take in between all of that. I don't say this to be relatable. It was all school. And I feel like it is for everyone. In any case, my teen years were not everything that I expected them to be when I was eight years old. Honest to blog, when I was a kid, I thought that I would be a pop star by now. But still, turning 20 was a big deal. Or it would have been if it wasn't overshadowed by literally everything else happening. So to say goodbye to those stupid and overrated teen years, I wanted to do something rebellious and impulsive. My final hurrah, if you will. Except no parties and um, no extensive traveling and no doing anything that could get me arrested because I'm a goody two shoes, so. Here it is. First on the agenda was getting a piercing. I asked my friends for input on rebellious things to do and pretty much everyone said this. So clearly the hallmark of being a teenager is letting someone stick a needle through you. That's just what the people said. And this is a democracy, as long as it's something that I want to agree to. So I decided that yes, this teeny tiny change in my appearance will make me feel special as I desperately cling to my ever dissolving youth. That's not to say that aging is a bad thing. I get more beautiful every day. So I got overdressed as per usual and headed out. I'm going to get my ear pierced right here. A very rebellious one, I know. The process was way simple. Deep breath in for me and a big deep breath. Perfect. But for some reason, I said amazing twice, even though that's not a regular part of my vernacular. Amazing. Amazing. I just got it done. Wait, I can't even. Do you see it? <laughs> Incredible. I feel like a rebellious teen already. Now I'm going to Target to buy some curtains. Like all rebellious teenagers do is buy home decor. Okay, bye. <laughs> If you're actually cool and are subscribed, you'll remember from my last video that I really needed to do another round of bleach on the back of my hair. People in my life are always like, no, Riz, don't bleach your hair yourself. It's gonna like, fall out. It's so dangerous. First of all, how does it feel to hate fun? Second of all, I am not giving a considerable chunk of my paycheck to do my stupid blonde little streaks, okay? Third of all, God would not have given me hair if he didn't want me to mess it up. So that's what I do, that's just what you're supposed to do. And it's not that hard, except for when I mess it up and then I'm screwed. But YOLO, that's what youth is all about. Oh, I should put gloves on so that I don't burn my skin off. That would be a good idea. Oh, this is my outfit. I got this shirt inside out. You can't see them, but I'm wearing... I'm wearing shorts and... Fuzzy socks and Skechers slippers. It's a good look. Okay, let's just go for it. It's a bad idea to start from the front. What can you do? I'll just do that. I also love to bleach my hair at home because I hate when people tell me what to do. Brad Mondo is like, please don't bleach your hair at home. And my brain is like, oh, so number one on my list of things to do is bleach my hair at home. I, I understand. I hear you loud and clear. Last time I did this, I used a toothbrush and then just my fingers to get it on my hair. So this is already much improved in terms of process compared to whatever the hell I was doing in Providence. But also I had my friends to keep me company in Providence. So, you know, good hair, crippling, loneliness. There's a, there's a, there's a dual, there's a duality there. Oh, there you go. See, this is why I wear a headband at all times. Life hack. Oops, I'm bleaching my neck right now. Haha, <laughs> that burns a little. Ouch. That's a little spicy. Oh, please. Out of here. Cool, oh, I did it, except for one strand that I forgot about. Now I'm going to wash off the bits that got on my neck because that is burning my skin a lot, a little bit. Now we set a timer, I'll be back. It's funny to me how when I was a kid, I thought 20 was like fully adult. Like I thought that at 18, you finally got some wiggle room and went off to college. And then somewhere between there and 20, you got your government assigned white picket fence and spouse, you know, ye old house and spouse. But alas, that is not how it works, thank God. God, I'm allowing myself till 40 to get to that stage of adulthood. But for now, I'm just a stupid little baby who doesn't know anything. Do you ever feel that way? Do you ever feel like a dumb, stupid, little, useless, tiny baby? If you do, like this video. Let's get this video to 3 billion likes. And also, if you do, it's a good thing that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi, 
I'm the smartest person in the world. And I became this way thanks to Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on pretty much anything you can think of. And if you love picking up random new hobbies as much as I do, it's a great way to find new skills and interests. I've been taking Productivity for Creatives by Thomas Frank. And my favorite thing that I've learned is using constraints for creativity where limitations can actually make you feel more inspired. Nowadays, we don't have much of a structure with everything being virtual, but finding creative challenges and productivity classes like those are a great way to set achievable goals and actually feel like you're doing something with your life. With a membership, you'll be connected with a whole community of creatives and whether you're looking to cure boredom, find a new skill, or just trying to stop being a clueless baby like I am, Skillshare is a great place for you. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, and after that, it's only about $10 a month. So check it out, and thank you, Skillshare. Now let's get back to me absolutely destroying my hair. And now, a montage of me struggling. Yay, it looks um, exactly the same. I swear it's usually so much more visible as seen in this very helpful picture that I took while editing to try to prove that point and these where I look a little bit more alive. Uh, but yeah, it's not orange anymore, so that's awesome. Dad, I, I don't, I don't wanna play sports anymore. That's your dream, not mine. But you don't play sports. As you can probably tell, I was low on rebellious ideas. All right, we're gonna go to the store and, and buy and, and buy food and buy a cake and sit in a parking lot and... So I sat off to the grocery store to buy some junk food just because no one could tell me not to. The store was like apocalypse levels of empty, which was strange, but we got sushi, smart food popcorn, and I really wanted this cake, but I felt like that was a little bit too healthy. So I got this one instead. Hi, could I please get, um, I got McDonald's cause no one can tell me not to. <clears throat> There's people I know from high school in the parking lot. I'm very strongly not making eye contact right now. There's way too many cars in this parking lot. We're leaving. Literally every time I come here, there's a 50, 50 chance of seeing someone from high school. Ah! Are you done? Okay, so anyway, the then after a Zoom movie night of watching Night at the Museum with my friends, I decided to, at 1.45 a.m., sneak out for the first time in my life ever. I don't know where we're going. I don't know why we're going. So I mostly just drove around playing music really loudly, which has always been one of my favorite things in the world to do because it's like the closest you can come to really feeling like you're in a teen movie and you're the protagonist that has finally reached their goal or learned something essential about life. And that's one of the best feelings. But also while I was doing this, I kind of realized that I was having a lot of fun doing all this stuff, mostly because I'm older now. I couldn't drive and didn't have a car for the majority of my teen years. I couldn't get piercings alone until I was 18. I would have been way too anxious to just go wherever in the middle of the night. So like, life is getting more fun and it's getting closer to the teen movie experience now that I'm not actually a teenager anymore. And that's pretty cool. So I'm okay with being 20 and the most I can hope for is that I will keep trying to have fun and that life will be at least a little bit kind to me.